Nightclub terror now being investigated as a homegrown terrorist attack. As investigators work to find out why this happened, families honored loved ones lost. But as I say, God is still good to me. I still believe God is great. You know? I still believe that, you know what, we can't have forgiveness even in this. You know? And search for a way to forgive the shooter. We are learning a lot more now about the killing spree in that nightclub. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Sophia Ojeda in for Sarah Donchi. We've also learned the identities of all but one of the victims. These are the faces of the sons and daughters whose lives were cut short during what was supposed to be a night of fun. Yeah, here's what we know right now. 39 of the 49 victims died inside the club while the rest died at area hospitals. Five of the 53 injured are in grave condition. The FBI says the gunman pledged loyalty to two different terror groups. We are bringing you live team coverage on this tragedy, covering it from Orlando and how it's impacting Houston as well. Our Sion Rhodes traveled to Orlando, and that's where she's been on hand as the investigation unfolds. Sion, what have you uncovered? And I'm at the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center here in Orlando, where the green space here, the lawn, is turned into a public memorial, a place where people have been leaving flowers and cards, all sorts of remembrances for the victims of this shooting. Meanwhile, we are learning more about how things unfolded inside the nightclub, how the massacre finally ended, and disturbing video just released today. I want to warn you, what you're about to see is very disturbing. <laughs> This new video shot by a woman inside the Pulse nightclub and released today is part of a better picture of exactly what was happening during the massacre early Sunday morning. Her family learned she was one of the 49 victims. Investigators say it began near the front door with a gun battle between suspect Omar Mateen and an off-duty Orlando police officer working security at the club. Additional officers responded. Those additional officers made entry while the suspect was shooting, engaged in another gun battle, with the suspect, um, forced him to stop shooting and, and retreat to the bathroom. That was the start of a three-hour standoff and a dialogue between Mateen and police. So there were three total calls. During the calls, he said he was doing this for the leader of ISIL. Now to the investigation, where teams are working through a detailed analysis of the crime scene. 48 of the 49 victims have been identified. The difficult task of notifying family members of the victims continues as dozens wait for news. For one mother who was looking for her son, her worst fears confirmed. He is among the victims. But there's better news for another family learning early this morning their missing son was still alive. It was enormous relief just to see him. And we are getting more insight into the investigation now. Federal agents saying that there are no known ties between Mateen and any overseas terror organizations, but they are also investigating reports that perhaps he had other plans even to attack possibly Disney World. Back to you. Uh, see, uh, most people know Disney World, uh, actually Orlando, as the home of Disney World and other attractions there. You used to live and work there. You know that city very well. What's the mood been like there for the last 24 hours, and what was it like for you to actually come back after such a tragedy? Well, I tell you, it was the most surreal flight from Houston to Orlando I've ever taken. I've taken quite a few because I did work here for a long time, full of families, full of children, excited to come to Disney World. But, of course, we had the dichotomy juxtaposed against the fact that we were now coming to what is the scene of the most deadly mass shooting in America's history. So very difficult to kind of wrap those two things together. The mood, of course, has gone from shock and anger and sadness. And as you see now, people beginning to gather for a vigil here tonight. They are pulling together. Hashtag Orlando strong, Orlando united, some of the things we've been seeing on social media, the community really pulling together. Back to you. All right, Orlando strong indeed. Sion, thank you so much. Thank